Jesus is coming. The real mark of the beast is a spiritual seal. The real business is in the spirit. The mark of the beast is spiritual and its outwards application is just a manifestation of what has already been done in the spirit and by that time it's already too late for many. Satan is not that stupid as to reveal his plans in broad daylight. If anything he is pointing the deceived masses in the wrong direction while he is busy with the real business of sealing people with his mark spiritually. No human being is more intelligent than Satan and we can only depend on Jesus Christ to defeat him. The Bible says he deceives the whole world in exception of very few. Right now, almost everyone is waiting for the RFID chip or a vaccine to pass as the mark of the beast and therefore this can't be a deception. The real deception is Satan has carried away many to focus on useless worldly stuff and man-made technology while disregarding spiritual matters where the real things are happening. The film is recording in the spirit and then plays in the physical and nobody can go back in time to edit it once it's done. It's heartbreaking to see people who started in the spirit finish focused on the flesh. Many have the spirit of the Antichrist sitting in their hearts masquerading as the Holy Spirit and have been deceived into thinking they are born again but are not. They can however still be saved before being sealed by the enemy, by searching their hearts, sincere repentance and heeding to the instructions of Jesus Christ as recorded in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, and seeking diligently for baptism by the genuine Holy Spirit by prayer and secret fasting so that nobody can hijack the process. You can't ask God for fish and he gives you a serpent but a fellow human being can lay hands on you pretending it's for you to receive the Holy Spirit and cunningly impart a serpent into your spirit so that they can manipulate you without your knowledge. You will walk away speaking in fake tongues, feeling somehow transformed etc. and think you have the Holy Spirit but in reality you have been duped and bewitched instead. The ultimate mark of the beast of revelation is a spiritual seal upon those who have the antichrist spirit and majority have that spirit that loves the world. The same way Jesus Christ seals his servants, Satan is also sealing the consciousness of his followers to a point where they will be totally immune to truth. The few times God has allowed me to see the mark of the beast it has always been a seal, superimposed so that you can touch or feel it, on the forehead and those who had it actually were thinking they are serving the real God. The Antichrist is not coming as Satan but will pass himself as the Messiah to the deceived. Many are prophesying that the Messiah is coming back but which Messiah are they truly waiting for? The real one or the imposter? We should worship God in truth and in the Spirit. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you, Seek, and ye shall find, Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, 9-13 Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? I the Lord search the heart, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge sitteth on eggs, and hatcheth them not, so he that getteth riches, and not by right, shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end shall be a fool. Jeremiah 17, 5-11 May Jesus Christ bless you and may those who are sincerely seeking him find him now. 
Amen and Amen. Wanadamu.